Good day fellow investors, I was contacted by Shreya Kumari, an MBA student from India that as an assignment for investing needed to do a review of an investing book. She picked Modern Value Investing, she did a great job in her video review and then I thought okay, she asked me for feedback whether she did a great job, I thought yes and I want to share her uh, review of the book with you, it's very interesting and check out the book if you haven't. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening in regard to that time you are watching this video. So in this video presentation I am going to talk about a book named Modern Value Investing by Sven Carlin. So uh, firstly I will tell you why the reason why I chose this book. So while going through the book reviews on internet or on Amazon I came across that everybody everybody said that this book in very simple terms helps you achieve your financial goals and I'll be probably earning next year. So I wanted to start early and use the uh, compounding factor of investing. So uh, coming to the book. So the book is divided into three parts. The first is talks about the mindset a value investor should have. have. Second talks about the technical tools you can use to achieve a uh, margin of safety and third talks about going uh, beyond value investing that is lowering your uh, risk and increasing your potential returns. So coming to the part one uh, which talks about the mindset of a value investor four things you need to keep in mind. Uh, so the first is uh, investing is done to achieve a future goal. So if your current life decisions are based on that investing, you probably your decision will totally be irrational because you won't be able to uh, take extreme uh, decisions, take have the courage to take uh, extreme decisions according to the bargains available. Second is you have to be a contrarian. So if the market is doing very well, just keep quiet and you should sell and if the market is doing uh, bad and everybody is just selling just wait for the uh, appropriate bargain available that meets all your criteria and just buy. The third is that value investing is very boring because it requires thousands of research analysis and the fourth is value investing is not correlated to stock market. So there may be few years when your stock may underperform but you will surely finish your marathon with satisfying returns that is achieving your financial goal. So from these four understanding we can make out some characteristics of the value investor that is for the, the first characteristic is you should be able to differentiate between intrinsic value of the market uh, intrinsic value of the investment and the market created illusion pricing. The second is a value investor must know how to take advantage of other people's emotions. So let me explain this with an example. Suppose you are a partner, uh, partner in a business and the other partner every day is selling you his stakes at different prices. When he is happy, he is charging high prices and when he is gloomy, He's, he's ready to sell at a very low price but you have the option to decline that offer because you know tomorrow again a new offer will come. So same way the market works and obviously it goes without saying that a value investor should be optimistic when everyone around him is being pessimistic. So the book states that market is irrational and that's where behavioral finance comes into picture. The basis of behavioral finance is that people take very irrational decisions when it comes to their finances which brings into light two theories prospect theory and risk aversion theory. So the prospect theory states that people treat losses and profits very differently and investors base their decisions on perceived gains not on perceived losses. So we'll understand this with an example which was in the book. Very good example. Suppose there are two invest, uh, investment advisor advising about the same fund. So th uh, the first says that there is an average 10% return while the second advisor says that 
in the past decade there has been above average returns but few uh, in few years before the average has started declining so according to prospect theory mostly investors will choose the first advisor because they base their decision on perceived gains second is uh, loss aversion theory which states that people hate losing money so they treat uh they for them loss uh, loss and profit of the same amount they treat it differently losses affect them e- more even if the amount is same when we talk about investing the first thing that comes to our mind is risk so risk uh, in value investing the lower the risk the higher is the potential return which is honestly very opposite to what we have learned what i have learned personally so value investor says risk is permanent uh, loss of capital and what market define as risk is just volatility and volatility is a friend of value investor so the most important measure of risk for value investor is the price the value investor pays and the value he is getting uh, so risk will be defined on a personal level it will be defined as not achieving your personal goal the next i'm going to talk about is expanding value investing mindset so value investor should be able to distinguish between stock fluctuation and business reality sometimes stock prices are detached from the reality let's take in a recession scenario where the stock prices are crashing and everybody is selling at whatever price they can even the pharmaceutical company share prices drops but it's a necessity it's a necessity good so market constantly offers huge bargain investment opportunity if you are able to distinguish between erratic market behavior and underlying business fundamental obviously optimism is the key so you should buy the buy the stocks whose value is screaming at you even if the herd is blinded by the short term market drop So this brings us to the end of part 1 the second part of the book talks about various tools to increase margin of safety the uh, point is to limit the probability of being wrong because in value investing the f- main focus is on limiting the risk so in order in because of time constraint i am going to consolidate various tools and provide a understanding so the first is to find out the intrinsic value of the business this can be done with different valuation method that is npv net present value that that is equals to present value of future cash flows minus stock price so when this value is positive then only our investors should invest because uh, value investing talks about increasing the margin of safety so we have to be very conservative while doing valuation the second method is liquidation in liquidation method we assume that the business is going to stop being a going concern so we realize the assets at the market value which is usually 30 or 50% less than what is registered in the balance sheet because again being conservative and we eliminate all the intangible assets this is an old strategy but provides a good addition checking point when analyzing investment the next is we can also find intrinsic value of uh, investment by uh, using free cash flow method and also we can use return on invested capital so a higher the uh, return on invested capital the higher is the stability in a company and which uh, in turns infers to a higher margin of safety when we combine these components we get a range of intrinsic values again the idea is to find a range and invest accordingly because obviously there can be no precision a uh, three easy ways to calculate margin of safety is first is net cash per share where you divide the uh, cash and cash equivalents minus debt divided by the shares outstanding and if the value of uh, price is below the net cash cash per share so we invest and also uh, check the dividend sustainability by 
सींग इट हिस्टोरिकली इफ इन केस ऑफ एनी सिक्लिकल डाउन टर्न और रिसेशन हाउ द कंपनीज डिविडेंड्स रिएक्टेड इन फॉर्म ऑफ एनी चेंज फ्रॉम द कॉम्पिटेटर इफ द डिविडेंड वॉज टाइट एंड एनी चेंज फ्रॉम द कॉम्पिटेटर मेड द डिविडेंड क्वेश्चनेबल सो ऑब्वियसली देर इज रियली नो मार्जिन ऑफ सेफ्टी द नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी इज द क्वांटिटेटिव टूल्स टू एनालाइज द रिस्क ऑफ अ कंपनी सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ फाइंडिंग अ बिजनेस मोड विच इंक्लूड्स बिजनेस मोड मीन्स फाइंडिंग अ डिफेंस विच कैन नॉट बी थ्रेटन बाय एनी अदर बिजनेस सम फैक्टर्स विच कैन बी यूज टू डिटरमाइन बिजनेस मोड आर लो कॉस्ट प्रोवाइडर्स हाई स्विचिंग कॉस्ट ब्रांड वैल्यू नेटवर्क इफेक्ट एंड गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट सेकेंड इज एनालाइजिंग द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द कंपनी एनालाइजिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ अर्निंग्स Uh, analyzing the cyclicity of the sector which means if the uh, seeing the demand supply trend and if the uh, supply is constrained with demand growing then we have winner and uh, also analyzing the economy because recession will come it may not be evident at this point of time but it's natural and it will come and you should prepare uh, your model in that way next the third category is uh, how to save yourself from value traps because value investing is very tempting but majority of them are value traps so first of all you should look for catalyst uh, which may be in form of merger mergers and acquisitions or increased operational efficiency or anything which will unlock a future value uh, secondly is uh, you should avoid sectors which are overly competitive because there is no value left in them third is uh, see the quality of assets in the balance sheet the fourth is uh, look inside activity or of a company uh, like if the price drops and its insiders are buying its shares which means that the employees have faith in the company and if there is more selling than buying which means there is a fixed reason for that happening again we have talked about to take advantage of the market sentiment but the main question here is how and where could you find bargains like this so the answer to this question is uh, start by looking into catalyst which will give you a fair uh, valuation risk arbitrage invest in uh, smaller mid cap uh, companies because there is more value to be unlocked go global because uh, internationally there may be a volatility uh, for some time but in future uh, it'll provide potential returns so this brings us uh, to the end of part 2 so there are many other concepts which go beyond value investing and the third part talks about it there are many other concepts which are used in lowering the uh, risk so the first is portfolio management every investment has its own individual risk but a good portfolio lowers the overall risk the second is a value investor should also trade because it lets you to keep in touch with the market and allows you to take advantage of market irrationalities the third is a value invest investor should know when to sell his stock fourth is a uh, lowering of risk can be done through hedging because hedging provides an uh, it's like an insurance cover so hedging uh, diversification as hedging where you diversify in uh, not related asset hedging against inflation by including a risk free asset in a portfolio hedging to uh, limit uh, currency risk by having a well diversified international portfolio liquidity risk where having a liquidity cushion allows you to take action in case of uh, market ir- uh, rationalities so there is a new concept uh, uh, which the author has introduced where everything possibly wrong can go on so it is uh, divided into four economic uh, scenarios and in that scenario what type of asset you should uh, invest in so the first scenario is where the economy is growing and the inflation is below expectation obviously in that scenario you invest in stocks the second scenario is when the economy is growing and the inflation is also growing 
सो इन दैट सिनारियो यू कैन गो फॉर इमर्जिंग मार्केट बॉन्ड्स और कमोडिटीज आर बिकॉज दे प्रोवाइड ईल्ड द थर्ड सिनारियो इज वेर द इकोनॉमी इज गोइंग डाउन एंड इन्फ्लेशन इज इंक्रीजिंग सो इन दैट केस यू कैन ऑब्वियसली गो फॉर गोल्ड बिकॉज द प्राइसेस विल बी हाई फोर्थ सिनारियो वेन द इकोनॉमी इज गोइंग डाउन एंड इन्फ्लेशन इज ऑल्सो गोइंग डाउन इन दैट केस यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन ट्रेजरीज सो द मेन आइडिया ऑफ ऑल वेदर पोर्टफोलियो इज कीप ऑन रीबैलेंसिंग योर पोर्टफोलियो सो दिस ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ द बुक सो दिस इज द बुक मॉडर्न वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग प्रोबेबली आई शुड हैव शोन इट ऑल बट सो द things i liked about this book was every tool every concept is an explained with an example the tools which uh, the technical value investing tools uh, the author explained with uh, explained it with uh, daimler uh, sh- shares and balance sheet and everything so what i learned is you should never be influenced by a market fad uh, you should do your due diligence and it requires immense lot of pressure different type of analysis and you should also have the patience when to buy and uh, right time to buy so thank you for listening